This short clip will consist of three presentations of the human brain. The first one we will call the left outer half brain. We will locate the major lobes, parts, gyri, and sulci. Because the cerebrum is the major part of the brain, we will outline it in orange highlighter. Next, we have the cerebellum colored teal blue. Third, we have the frontal lobe colored pink. The parietal lobe comes next. It's colored red. On the side of the brain, we have the temporal lobe in green. The final lobe is the occipital lobe in blue. Separating the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe is the precentral gyrus, then the central sulcus, and the postcentral gyrus. Separating the frontal lobe and the temporal lobe is the lateral fissure. This completes a simple diagram of the outer brain structures. The next diagram we will call the inner half brain. It consists of the diencephalon, structures of the brainstem, and a few other parts. We will start with the cingulate gyrus in blue highlighter and work our way down. Next comes the corpus callosum in lime green. Third comes the diencephalon in orange. The midbrain is colored yellow. In purple are the pawns. The medulla oblongata is colored red. And finally, the spinal cord is in teal blue. This is a quick overview of some of the structures of the inner brain. For this final diagram, we will get a little more detailed as we go over some of the glands and specific inner brain structures. We will call it the inner half brain too. We will start with the pineal gland by coloring it red. Next, the pituitary gland in green. Third, the mammillary body is colored blue. The thalamus and hypothalamus are pink and purple respectively. In orange, we have the arbor vita located in the cerebellum. And finally, the hippocampus is in yellow. Here completes an overview of the general and specific structures of the human brain.